Leaving loved ones to serve in a war zone is never easy. But for two TA soldiers, the timing of their deployment to Afghanistan could not be worse. I love you. Love you too. Alright, just be strong. Paul Crossley is going to serve as a combat medic, just as his partner Tina is struggling with a life-threatening illness. It's going to be a challenge with Paul going out there and me here, but no matter what the whole life throws at me, I'll cope, yeah. Darren Morgan is looking forward to fighting on the front line. It's either kill or be killed, isn't it? And I know what I'd rather. And fulfilling a lifelong dream. It's an ambition. I wasn't picked and told I have to do it. It's a voluntary thing. But his girlfriend Holly can't bear to see her sweetheart risk his life, just as she has plans for their future wedding. Obviously, don't want to build something up so much. And it might not happen because he's not home. I just want him home first. Target on. For these men, the TA is all or nothing. If you can't commit yourself to coming on a tour, then personally, I, I think you've got little business being in the Territorial Army. But will the unfortunate timing be too much for them and their partners to bear? The reality is I'm going, and um, I feel homesick already. Taxis. 26-year-old Darren Morgan is a panel beater at the family taxi business in Swansea. Send around to From a young age, I've loved cars, and it's the best profession to be in when you love something. James, was a panel hammer. He's been in the Territorial Army for eight years and will soon be leaving his job for six months to join a full-time British Army regiment in Afghanistan. At the beginning, I thought to myself, oh, I, I wouldn't want to go there, go to a war zone. But the more confident I got in what I was doing, I thought, yeah, I can do this. And I'd really like to go. Yeah, no problem. Darren's mum, Bev, didn't react well when her son told her he was heading off to a war zone. Do some work again. She's a manager, she don't do any work, so. No, I'm being yeah. Yeah. I didn't want him to go. Um, I was quite upset about it, and then my husband said to me, look, you know, you have to leave him do what he wants to do in life, because that's his road. He wishes to choose to go down, and you have to leave him do it. It's something I want to do. It's an ambition that I want to do. I volunteered for this. I wasn't picked and told I have to do it. It's a voluntary thing. Um, and they support me, and that's good. That's all I want from them is support. I don't want them to like it. I just want their support. That's all I want. Darren volunteered to go to Afghanistan two years ago. He didn't know that only a week later he would meet his girlfriend, Holly. I first met him on my sister's birthday. I wasn't going to go, and she made me go. So I was, it was by chance I met him. Got a number, asked her out, and I just went from there then been together ever since. It's, that's what's strange about it, it's completely opposite to what I would have gone for. See what the web's like? Like rugby players. <laughs> Holly never imagined Darren's commitment to the TA would take him to a war zone. If I'd met him now, it would have been different. But because I met him when he was working on cars, it was like as if it was a hobby. Even though I knew that he was going to go away, I didn't think it'd come so fast. I just, to be honest, I want him to go and get it over with now. The timing of Darren's departure makes it hard for the young couple to plan their future together. But he's got a surprise up his sleeve that is going to change all of that. We've got a holiday coming up in Barcelona, the two of us. And I thought it'd be a really nice gesture, you know, if I proposed to her before I went. Uh, I've already purchased the ring, got it in her size. Can't we? Oh, she says yes. <laughs> 250 miles away in 